Hey guys, it's SM72, yours truly so Mario 72 on another fantastic Tuesday with Super Mario Sunshine. And uh, in this episode, we are going to do more things, meaning Spray Toad. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you later. <laughs> Alright, so here we have Mission 2, Mirror Madness, Tilt, Slam, Bam. This is actually one of a. This is actually one of the best missions that everyone says. Um, it's really good, I must say. Um, so let's just hop into it, and you guys will see. The Mirror Madness, Tilt, Slam, Bam. This is actually. I don't know why, but this mission is pretty popular for some reason. I don't. Wait, maybe I don't know it's popular, but maybe it just feels like that. Okay. Okay. Some weird thing is curled up on the tower to take a nap. Yeah. So basically, what we are sentenced to do, or what we, what we should be doing is, um, oh, I, I want to show it off so bad, but I know I can't right now. All right. Okay. Hang on, I'll show off all the glitches at the very end. Alright, so basically what you do when you hop on this thing, you want to ground pound the edge of it, and then he's dead. And then the, the thing will lose the weight, and it'll automatically tilt and put the light on the caterpillar. At least that's what he's called for now. I won't give away his name now, but you may already know. But again, for those that are new, which would be a miracle if that happened, then that would be awesome. Okay. But, um... So now it gets progressively harder because now you, you can do it in any order if you want, but now this one has two, and yeah, so. Dun dun dun. Okay. Only one area remains. Now, I actually. The, the reason I enjoy this mission is because. Not because of that, but because. The way of getting to the threesome, I kind of like, because because just because I'm SM72, and you guys know how much I like to swing on ropes, then you know exactly why I'm doing this, so it's a waste of time, I know, but I really want to do this, so let's do it. By the way, blue birds contain blue coins, but we won't have to worry about that. Alright, you guys ready? Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. Woohoo! Alright, yeah, that hurt, but whatever. See, just going down to something in style, I think, is really fun. Alright. Alright, two down. Do they change key? I don't know. We, we all know music has 12 keys. Alright. Because music is 12 keys, and then the sound of the pitches of those things is... Alright, whatever, what am I talking about? Anyways, so anyways, his head gets chopped off. At least, yeah, most in his neck get chopped off, and he's dead. But unfortunately, um, we may not know that for sure, so... And then the shine sprite goes all the way down there, and then you think, oh, it's going to take forever to get to you. But then again, just do this. And it's much, way faster to get the shine sprite. Which is why I love this game so much. Because you just get to do things like that. It's just so fun. Okay. Alright, sorry guys. I'm going into dazes. But anyways, now... That that's done, we're gonna go into our next mission. Wiggler Ahoy! Full steam ahead. Welcome to another boss fight. This boss fight, I'm not. A, I don't really. I don't really. I'm not really a huge fan of this. I don't. It was one of. My, it's not. Yeah. I just don't like this boss fight that much. It's not because it's hard. It's just because I don't know. I find it kind of boring and you know, kind of based off PD Piranha a bit. But what you have to do is basically spray the plants, and then that a thing will pop out. 
and he'll run into it, and then basically the arrow points to a section of his body, a segment of his body that you have to ground pound in order to attack him. And then he gets faster in matter, which each hit he takes three hits, and that's pretty much it. Dun, dun. And then the music gets fat. I do like how you know it's. The one thing I like about this boss fight is how he gets angrier and faster and he just looks cool. That's the one thing I like about it though. So I can't say it's bad. I mean all the boss fight all the boss fights are good, it's just that it's not, you know, one of my favorites. That's all I'm saying. I don't hate it. I'm just saying it's still fun, but you know, it's just not, you know. So now Oh man. And then if you kill him here, he runs up the hill for a second, which is kind of funny. And then he'll come back down and he's gonna he's gonna screw us over, so we gotta run. Uh no, 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 no. Okay. What Oh god. Yeah, as you can see he gets a bit more like when you don't make it there fast enough, then that's what happens. But then he's gonna come back and now we gotta take immediate action. Oh yeah. Alright, now we gotta ground pound this segment. I do like how it's, you know, set up though. And then, the way he dies, he turns into sand and then he's gone, and then, yeah. Oh man, am I gonna- Let's see if I can get it. Oh, am I gonna get it? Oh man, I was close. I was close. I was close to it that time. Okay, anyways. We have 25. We are almost one quarter of the way done with this game. Surprising as it is. Because once we reach once we reach 30, then we'll be able to get the sunshades from that guy, and then yeah, do other cool things. Dun, 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 okay. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I really apologize, but um. Uh, what am I gonna do? Yeah, I'm okay. I was just thinking about stuff I wanted to do, to do um during this game, like you know, like if I'm gonna continue doing things in order and whatnot. But anyways, let's go on to mission four. The Sandbird is born. Now that Wiggler is killed, now we the Sandbird is happy again, and now we will, well not really, but the egg hatches, and now we are required to go into the egg, <laughs> which is really weird. By the way, in this episode, you do encounter some guys that will like to throw you, which is weird, I know, but... What the? Oh, I guess he crashed into the plant, or whatever. By the way, I didn't explain this already, but... We meet the Nokis. I love when he says that, like, you know. Okay. Yeah, see? He can swim very well. Yeah, whatever. Okay. That shine sprite will be useful for another glitch way later on. But anyways, we're gonna talk to this guy and see. Woohoo! And he totally. M it was intended for me to the, but the sign was in the way, so I had to get him from an angle. But let's, you know, what, let's try it again just because I, I feel bad that I didn't get to do that, like, you know, in such a good way. See, the sign is blocking me. I can't get him. There we go. Okay, I got it. My bad. Okay. Anyways, let's let's keep going, shall we? All right. Hey, buddy. He didn't even wait. Did he wake up? Oh yeah, he woke up. <laughs> that was funny. Now this guy is basically the biggest fan of the Sandbird. It hatched Legend of Sandbird for broke town family. That was unexpected. Yeah. So he's happy. And he's dancing. This guy's just like, oh, screw you. Store's closed today for family playtime. When my son slides down, I'm gonna throw him back up. But he doesn't seem to be coming down at all. And then he throws me all the way up in a perfect slide position where I can go down, jump, the coins do not matter at all, woohoo, and I go in and I'm in the egg. And a lot of people hate this mission for a specific purpose because it's the sandbird. Whenever they hear the sandbird, it gets them really pissed. For that, for that particular reason. Now, I must say right now, there are four blue coins here that we do not want to get yet. You'll have to get them later. You can choose to 
Ah, uh, crap, I don't want... Again, I do not want to get on those. So... So basically, all you want to do is just collect the eight red coins. You will manage to find seven of them on the sandbird. Oh, crap, do not get that. Okay. Now, the hardest part about the sandbird is when it's about to turn over on its side. What you want to do is you want to be really careful. Not like that, because now I'm going to die, I know it. Oh my god, I never thought I would... Okay. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to do this. But basically, that's what you want to do. You just basically want to get on one of the, you know, sides of it and whatnot, and then hopefully not die. Yes. Perfect. We did it, guys. You want... In celebration, let's collect a coin. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. I wonder... You see, the curious thing is, when you're in areas like this, and when you're doing stuff like this, you wonder what would happen if you started doing the 100 coin mission, then you enter the sandbird, and then, like, you know, ha getting the 100 coin shine sprite, and, like, where they would place these, th like, you know, you, you wonder that. And, and, and guess what, I'm gonna do that in some time later on. Now, be careful when you get this coin, because you can easily wolf right into it. And then you could well easily fall off the edge, which I have seen happen. So, and there we go. There's the Shine Sprite for one of the most hated missions in Super Mario Sunshine history. Because a lot of people hate that mission. Dun, dun, dun. Woo, okay. Anyways, now we're gonna go back in and we're gonna do more. Because we're only at 12 minutes right now. And I can't... Again, if you don't already know, this episodes are roughly around 20 minutes long. Now, we meet someone new. Meet Piantissimo. Oh, and before I forget, we need to go back and uh, do the red coin challenge. Because I didn't see the question mark and I almost forgot about that. But actually, before we do this, we might as well get the other secret shine sprite. So basically, there's Piantissimo, but we don't want to talk to him yet because we're going to do something else. By the way, if you saw that, that was a blue coin that we're going to get later. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to get the other secret shine sprite. Or the bonus shine sprite. If I can get it, yes, there we go. You want to spray that wall quickly before it goes back up. And there you go. And it's a glitch, by the way, because there's supposed to be people there. Whoa. Ugh. Yeah. And they're celebrating for me, even though I didn't actually beat him. So there we go. And there's the secret shine, sp or the bonus shine sprite. So there we go. There's the one. Now we're just going to go back and get the other before I forget. Because I don't want to forget. Okay. Okay, now let's, um... Oh, yeah. Okay. So before we do that, we're just going to get the other bonus shine sprite and get that done and over with before I forget again. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Whoa! Yeah, but if you run into them like that, then you will get hurt. Okay. Let's go back in easiest way possible yeah too slow buddy <laughs> alright now this time it's a little bit further up ahead but not too far up ahead right on the button alright now we're just gonna do this without the one-up because I don't care who cares about the one-ups right now one-ups are only desperate when you're about to get a game over Or when you're close to getting a game over. Well, that was a stupid idea. Okay. 
the hell was that? Okay. Yeah, I just need to refresh my memory here and blah blah blah. Whoa, that was a weird way to get up. <laughs> Might as well. Now, I forgot to mention this, but there's usually two one ups in each obstacle course. I believe very rarely one. And sometimes there's three. So, I forget if you can only get one, but. Most of the time, it's just two. You can get two one-ups in each obstacle course, so... Just a little bonus for you. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna do a little Piantissimo action here. Okay. Alright, um... Here we go! Piantissimo Sand Sprint, Mission 5. Let's go right into it. Okay. So basically, what he is... He's a man wearing a mask, and there's actually a, a little picture that you can get on Google where it unreveals his mask or whatever. I don't know about that secret that much, but... Whatever, if you want to know more about what he actually looks like, then go look it up for yourself. <laughs> So basically, if you beat him, yeah, who cares about the record? So basically, you want to race him, but the funny thing about it is, you have Flood, so you don't have to, you can cheat, and he will not care. Boom, and I win. And in celebration to that, wow, he's still not here? I can't even see him. Yeah, I have great speed thanks to this thing on my back. Yeah, screw you. Yeah, and notice how if you spray him, he's the only one who's not affected. So. So as you can see, guys, once we get one more shine sprite, then we can get sunshades. We will be like 25% completed with the game once we get... All right, now, now we're gonna go back in, and now we're gonna get the 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 next shine sprite. Which this mission is just kind of flat out, straight out. Red coins in the coral reef, obviously, to red coin mission. So let's do it. All right. Okay, and and he's just like, oh, like he's staring at. And notice how blue cataquacks are gone. So basically what we have to do is we're going to head into the coral reef for this mission to get the right coins based on the title of the mission. <laughs> okay, is there one in there? Okay. Yeah, just All right. Oh yeah, I never talked about swimming. Man, I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> B is keep pressing B to go deeper, and then pre keep pre pressing A to go back up. Oh wow, I got very lucky getting that one, because two of them are with fish that swim away with it, and they can g disappear under rocks and stuff. Here's the other one that's going to disappear away from me. Yeah, just like that. Oh, stupid. St these stupid things that are in my way. I don't know what they're called, but whatever. Okay. That's okay because all right, there it is. Let's get him. Get him. Yeah, we got him. All right. There's also a blue coin that's swimming with fish, but we do not want that. Yeah, see, there it is out there. All right. We do not want to get that. There's enough. There's the sixth one. As you can see, this is pretty straightforward. As soon as we're done with this mission, I'll wrap up the episode. Alright, and the last one is two over here. So as you can see, that mission was very easy. 
it can be harder for some people depending on the, the other two red coins that swim with the fish but uh yeah but other than that it's pretty easy so kind of a boring mission but straightforward you know we're done with the coral reef and we are officially one quarter of the way done with this game and the let's play wow i'm moving along fast here all right thank you guys very much for watching this episode of tuesday's super mario super mario sunshine on tuesdays with sm72 yours truly so mario 72 be sure to check out my other buddies let's plays and such on their um scheduled days um and i'll see you guys next time later